I've been arguing that the NFL needs to get out of the morals business because they're not any good at it. So you do what with Kareem Hunt uh, not yeah. being uh, being totally radioactive a couple of months ago, and now he's not radioactive. Anymore. How do you? Will you? Let me ask. Just ask you. You said you want the NFL to get out of the morals business. Like, how do you feel about him being in the league right now? Are you okay with it? I I am okay with that league being dirty, and if a guy like this exists, because they're all they've been in huddles. Throughout history, right. the NFL is not equipped to, to uh, legislate sure. these things because the law isn't but either. Y- yes. So you're saying if the law is, doesn't intercede, if the guy's not charged, let him play. I don't know how I feel. Like, I, I, I don't, like, that's just. Not a, alone. Yeah. I think we all feel like crappy. Can I say crappy? Crappy about this. <laughs> um, and I tried to tweet as much yesterday. I was called the world per- worst person in the world, which seems strong you know there's like dictators out there but i feel crappy about this but and and yet i don't know what the right punishment is for someone like him because i don't believe in zero time i've said this i think guys who do what he did should have a shot at coming back to the nfl a lot of people don't agree with me i don't think zero tolerance works i think it's a lie i think it uh scares women from reporting i think any team that claims to have zero tolerance is being misleading that said a team doing what the Browns did, which I found to be rather cynical, signing him two months after, it feels crappy. It feels bad to me. It sends a message about priorities and, and what the league cares about. And, and so I don't know what the middle ground is between banishment, which I don't agree with, and two months, which feels terrible. And I don't think any of us have the right answer for that. And there's any of us who care about these things really know what to do. I just don't think that football in particular is equipped to deal with any of this stuff, at least in part, because there's always a Dorsey out there who's willing to tell you that the thing that I value most is value. And I'm not here to concern myself with victims. I'm here to win football games. The coldness of that, I just wish that the NFL uh, didn't necessarily embrace the coldness of that, but try to hide it behind some sort of here we come grandstanding on zero tolerance when it's not actually zero tolerance. It's just propaganda. I think it's valuable. I agree with that. But the, 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 when they talk about investigations and transparency, we yeah, we looked at No, you didn't. Stop. You know, I mean, I'm just, stop. I, stop lying to us, you know. I do think it's valuable when they tell us we're, we've got X player, he, he's in counseling, he's in therapy, he's doing this, he's admitting this. I, I know it, it feels like bs like the other things but to if you do actually f- care about putting these people in public positions because that's the thing like Kareem Hunt, he, he's not a plumber he's not a teacher he's a guy who's on tv who we're gonna see and and represent something bigger than himself that's just the nature of being an entertainer or a public figure and so it matters when the league says hey these things are happening around him even if we know that it's all you know, there's cynical underpinnings.